I'm going to use ArcMap, uh, one of the ArcGIS suites, one of the uh, ones that's being phased out, to show the topo topological relationship of containment to help us answer a geographic question. So in this question I'm asking is, based on the most recent crime data that's available to us here uh, in Indianapolis, which school uh, has the most number of crimes that occur within a half mile of the school's uh, location? Um, so it's a very geographic question. So where do I find this data? All this data is available publicly. Um, so I go to a site called uh, Open Indy, uh, and so I just typed in UCR, and the most recent here is, in this case, 2018. Uh, in terms of the most recent data, I click on that, and what is it? Uh, and so this data is, once again, spatial uh, and also has attributes to it. So it's got the X and Y coordinates. So if I go ahead and I look at the data, uh, we can see it's just a bunch of spreadsheets, and so it's got object IDs, so individual uh, uh, each crime has a specific ID, it's got its type, crime type, it's got its location, and most importantly, it's got its X-coordinate and Y-coordinate. So that's uh, what we see then here plotted uh, in this particular map. Uh, there in the yellow uh, are the schools. So the purple are where the crimes occurred in 2018, the yellow are schools, and these are using, uh, I think, 2010 uh, school locations. Uh, one of the things to note is, first off, when you're always, when you're uh, you know looking at uh, data is kind of try to you know pick out some things that maybe look a little peculiar. And so first off, we have the airport that makes sense. Uh, there's no airport or there's no crimes occurring on the airport runways. But here's the town of Speedway. The town of Speedway is kind of this uh, isolated pocket within Indianapolis. Um, so no crimes happened there. Well, actually, crimes did happen there, but it happened within the town of Speedway's jurisdiction. So those schools uh, are going to kind of be outliers. And here we have Beach Grove, and then this is Lawrence, the area of Lawrence. But for the most part, Marion County is a big old square. And so what we're going to do is use some ArcGIS tools to try to answer that question. Uh, where, which particular school has the highest number of crimes occurring within a half mile uh, distance? And so what we're going to do is use this Arc Toolbox buffer tool uh, to showcase containment here. So our input feature are going to be the Marion County Schools. And our linear unit, let's use, we're going to use miles and what did it say, 0 0.5. All right, leave all things as is. Okay, and so whenever you see an arc map, the world down here spinning uh, means something's happening. Uh, so it's working on a buffer. And the buffers have been created. And so we have uh, the individual buffers that we can probably see a little bit more now. And so those are the half mile buffers created for every single school. And so what we'll do now is we'll have to join two different layers. And so we have the schools layer uh, with that we just kind of created with the buffer. Uh, but also the crime layer. And so the school layer, what we're going to do is we're going to join it. And we're going to join it with another table, with another uh, layer. And we're going to do it based on location because uh, we're thinking about, okay, we want to find out how many crimes are occurring within a buffer. And so that spatial location is that buffer. Uh, so the join of these two tables is going to be based off of spatial location. So are these crimes inside the buffer. Um, so the, the layer here, we're going to use the crime events. Um, so here, other information points to polygons. And so uh, essentially crimes are points and we're joining them to a table that's polygons, circles that are those buffers. Uh, and I'll, I'll zoom in and, and show one a little bit later on, a little bit more here, what I mean. Um, so we join the two tables and we have this new table created. Uh, and so we'll open the table, and what we see now is our schools and this particular column called count. So that is the number of crimes that have occurred within a half mile of each of these schools. So what we can do then is we can sort it, sort it descending, and we can see that the Department of Correction Adult Schools, so let's just take a look at the top three. So what we'll do is we'll I try to highlight the top three and where are they located on this particular so they're all located here in this particular area uh, and so we found out that the, the three schools uh, that we see the highest number of crimes within are these three locations there so what we'll do is also 
can zoom in more in particular, you can kind of look at this particular data. Um, so what we'll do is we'll make the, uh, the new table that we created, make it hollow or those new uh, buffers. Uh, and so we can see the purple dots, a lot of purple dots within these buffers. Uh, and so these particular schools have the highest number of crimes occurring within a half mile from them. And now, so what we've done is we've answered this geographic question, which schools have the highest number of crimes in 2018 occurring within a half mile of the school's location?